again. Woo! So, this is my friends, uh, Mikael again, and a new friend from Germany, Sarah. Sarah, muy bien. <laughs> and we want to open the discussion about the last 100 kilometers and what does it mean for us. So, who wants to start? <laughs> no, I mean, we were saying that the uh, albergues uh, are more like for sleeping and not what what did you say they're not like they're not made to for pilgrims to make them feel good like there are no hospitaleros who really want to care for you that actually stay there just to be like a caretaker they're just people who want to make money basically because there are so many people that they probably don't care if somebody cares for them hmm. yeah. yeah i mean uh we are walking for 855 kilometers in my case uh you are coming from roncesvalles or uh saint jean so saint jean is almost uh, also yeah. 800 almost mm -hmm. right yeah me too so yeah we are the real pilgrims you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you see that sign like saying in Syria like jesus didn't start yeah, yeah, yes yes <laughs> actually i met a uh, a pilgrim Has called Jesus walked there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Well, so I mean, uh, um, I met a, a, a pilgrim who who asked me about the cross. You know, if you if I am believer, and 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 I said, why why you ask me? I mean, why do you ask me if I well, believe in God? Because you have a cross on your earring. Oh, okay. Uh, no, and he told me that he saw this sign about Jesus doesn't didn't start in Saudi. Yeah. So some pilgrims they start they do just the last 100 kilometers just to obtain this Compostela, which is like a, a certificate that you are the real pilgrim. It is for free and you need two stamps per day. Stupid rule. But it it is it, even if you are doing uh, the whole Camino like us, you have to get two stamps per day. Otherwise, you would not get the, uh, La Compostela. But but it's like I have also met people who have done like an Europe vacation. Mm -hmm. They have like traveled in whole Europe, and now they have traveled to Spain, and they are just doing the last hundred k because it's part of their vacation so it's like more a tourism thing like not everybody i think there are some people who can only do a hundred kilometers or they have done others before i don't know i can judge from the outside everybody but mm. i think for many people it's just like part of a vacation oh yeah it's not really the camino right yeah i mean before saria you felt really connected to everybody and most people had a conversation or said hi or went camino and but it's yeah, it changed definitely after Saria. I mean, it's good that people come here and get an experience and hopefully come back. But it's just different spirit after yeah, yeah. the last time. There are just too many people, too not enough nice words or conversations. It makes it feel like disconnected <laughs> from the other people because not everybody has like the same amount of experience. Plus yeah, from all the other places we stayed in, or all the mountains we climbed, and and also they they are not that experienced like us. I mean, I met uh, uh, two guys from um, from US, and they would like be uh, asking for my backpack. Like, isn't that it's so heavy? I mean, it must be heavy. And I'm, I was like, oh really? <laughs> you know, I would say, oh, you know. The weight is in your mind and everyone carries what they consider to carry, you know? And then the other guy would get pain in their feet and they would be worried about the blisters. And we, we, we are miles and miles and kilometers over it, you know? Yeah. We don't really, <laughs> we already had our own, uh, our first blisters and pains and, you know, now we are thinking something else. We are over our physical pain. I think we, what we do is to, I mean, in my case, it's like 
summering the whole experience. It's a kind of spiritual uh, thinking, you know. I'm it's still like the first is about the body, then the mind, and the spiritual thingy. It's like the like the first part of the Camino is body. Yeah, oh, for yeah. sure, definitely. Yeah. Then it's your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That uh, takes over. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, and then <laughs> you just, I mean, uh, the last days, um, yesterday I was shooting very intense videos just to sum up the whole Camino. And I, I think uh, that's what what is this last two days ago uh, about. I mean, the last 100 kilometers, which can be done in four days or maybe three, if you are really like, Maybe, I mean, today I posted a, a picture on Instagram with uh, luggages, you know, I saw someone uh, like, a, like a car uh, leaving uh, huge luggages to uh, some albergue and I was like, oh yeah, this is the, another way of doing the Camino, you know, <laughs> somebody gets ships their luggages, they don't, they cannot get minimized and they don't there are actually a lot of people without backpack right now really? a lot of people without backpack or like brand new clothes i don't want to judge from the outside it's just <laughs> five weeks of walking you kind of know if somebody just started yeah so. i mean I, I i yeah i mean at the beginning i was very against it and i would judge but now i think everyone is, has its own camino you know someone is just not able to 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 do that backpack that will carry for the for the whole camino you know somebody just cannot maybe they're also not ready to do 800 kilometers on their own <laughs> yeah anyway it's very spiritual to do it and you learn a lot of stuff what did you learn guys by the way like so summarizing. <laughs> I learned that I don't have to stress myself too much with the big questions of life and stuff because I have to remember I'm just 21. I don't have to care for all the deep things right now that I'm caring for. Mm -hmm. It's better just live now and just live life. And yeah. Carpe diem. Yeah. I mean, I've learned things from every conversation because you meet people from all over the world and mm -hmm. just also not stimulate yourself with too much things. Just be more, uh, I mean, selective with what you do, quality stuff mm -hmm. uh, with your life. I mean, yeah, I've learned a lot. Mm. And also a funny thing is like every time, it's really weird, it happened in my life before, but especially on the Camino. When I ask for something or I think about something, it usually just happens like instantly in a few seconds later or hours. Oh yeah. Like if I think about someone, for example, See. these people would turn up. Yeah. If I want something, <laughs> if I'm feeling, for example, yeah. lonely and I'm like, oh, I don't want to be alone. Like somebody comes to me and starts talking to me and I'm okay yeah. again. It's really, yeah. really weird sometimes. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. I, 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 I didn't... It's, 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 it's the, yeah, we have to follow the roads. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, you actually remembered very important thing. Sometimes we say, this is the Camino, you know? <laughs> it's like uh, when, when you, I mean, I found out that anything you wish, you find it on Camino. Yeah, it is yeah true. I agree. You see, they agree, <laughs> so it must be true. <laughs> I think it's in life as well, but in the Camino you start believing in it, so yeah. it actually happens. And in life maybe you're not believing that it can no, happen. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I met a guy who said, oh, this is God, you know. This is uh, a God who shows you the way. I, I personally, I feel like uh, agnostic. Uh, I, I'm not with and I'm not without. I mean, uh, against. Uh, for me, it's like just coincidences. Like a, a, I, I was talking about it in in another video. 
I, I feel like like this is like a puzzle that you get pieces and then sometimes you see you see the the how it fits and sometimes you don't see it you just uh, get pieces and then sometimes you you see the whole picture and uh, yeah I mean I, I, I always want <laughs> I always wanted to uh, uh, meet uh, a real youtuber like famous youtuber and I always wanted to to meet uh, a transsexual woman because I follow their videos like for years you know and it's very uh, interesting uh, their stories but I wouldn't I would never talk to anyone like in real life and it happened on a Camino you know I met a, a transsexual woman and I would talk to her and and uh, it happens to be a person, you know. <laughs> mm, yeah, <that's laughs> yes, not this imagination I would have uh, from all the YouTube's video uh, that I would follow, you know. I don't know what else. Uh, also, on the Camino, you I read the books on the bookshelves, like the open bookshelves, mm -hmm. and sometimes I just find books that. I had this one book about the Camino, it's from this Brazilian author, it's like really famous. Okay. Quelio. And I, oh, the Quelio. Yeah, yeah. And I started reading it and he's talk when I started reading it, he was talking about the exact city I was sitting reading the book. Oh. It was really creepy, so I <laughs> continued reading the book because <laughs> it was just like such a weird coincidence. Yeah. It was like the most significant part of the book and I was in the ruins where the situation took place that he described yeah. in the book when I read the book. Wow. Just like, what the heck? And right now I had book, I just finished it, which also like spoke like out of my soul. And oh. I just read it, like I got it from a hostel as well. <laughs> just finished it. Mm -hmm. Super crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything you ask from Camino, you get it. I mean, do you do you also remember like some kind of weird, weird, weird yeah. uh, coincidence? Coincidences on Camino? I don't know. I'm just relating to the exposure from media my whole life, like from American culture. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I have never really interacted with American people. Okay. And here on the Camino, I had the opportunity to talk with I mean people from all over the states and yeah it's just so interesting to I mean meet the people not just be observing yeah so yeah that's, yeah that's cool yeah so thank you Camino for give us this opportunity to learn a lot of stuff <laughs> <laughs> and be amazed and and you know any plan can change because the Camino is it's kind of unexpected you cannot plan the Camino because you never know what it comes. You never know. No. I mean, it can't really change. So that's it, I think. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Goodbye. Ciao.